Last night on Facebook, many parents were concerned when Madison County Schools announced that there was a threat at Madison Southern, or so they thought. However, these claims are unsubstantiated. We talked to Aaron Stewart of Madison County Schools, who gave us all the information and how the schools reacted. The Bria Country Club is now open to the public. Darts, pool, and cornhole available. Remodeled bar, dance floor, dining area, and a deck with a beautiful view of the mountains. Reserve the Bria Country Club for all your special events. Located at 104 Churchill Court. You no longer have to join us as a member to join us for a cold one. We were notified, the principal of Madison Southern was notified last night that there could have been a threat made to Madison Southern High School. Um, as it turns out, those potential threats were just rumors. There was never any concrete evidence of an actual threat made to the school. But there were lots of things being passed around on social media last night that, that had all of us um, on high alert. And enough so that the, that the principal felt it best to contact the police department. We wanted to let people know that there was an active investigation. We were fully involved with the police to make sure that our staff and our students are safe today. Uh, there has been an increase in security on the campus today. Obviously, Madison Southern doesn't sit by itself. Foley is right next door. Shannon Johnson's campus is on the back side of Madison Southern's property. So it's more than just students at Madison Southern that, that would be affected, and we have to be aware of all of those people as well. So we've had an increase in security on that campus today just for everyone's safety. Judging by the trend across the state over the weekend, there's been a lot of this kind of activity and the Kentucky State Police have made several posts over the weekend and even this morning and today about the, the consequences of posting those types of threats on social media and, and they are very aware of our situation. They've been actively involved in our situation as well so we're grateful for for their involvement and, and their help and the Brea Police Department has done a fantastic job you know following up on every lead that was in any way connected to a possibility of a threat. Parents should be calling and questioning and that's what you do when you're an actively involved parent. You want to make sure that your children are going to be safe and we are all feeling the frustration of our children should all be at school feeling safe and feeling secure and not feeling like there's a reason to be anxious or scared while they're in our buildings. They're there to learn. That's their primary function while they're with us. And our primary function is to teach them. But we have to sometimes shift our focus. And, and today, security is the top priority. It's the top priority every day uh, in the overall scheme of things, but our focus is squarely on that today. We have to follow the police protocol in these kinds of situations. It is a criminal investigation. It's not just a school investigation. So we're cooperating with the police. They're going to continue to follow up on things. They're going to continue to monitor social media and, and monitor the situation all across our district, not just in the South End. Um, it can happen. We know that. It happens, obviously, other places, and people are shocked and amazed, and, and it catches you off guard. We want to be as prepared as we can be um, and potentially catch it before anything bad does happen. That's all, all of our goal. We have gotten a lot of great suggestions and we've been um, listening as parents, you know, comment on Facebook posts and, and that sort of thing. We've gotten a lot of calls from parents with suggestions or asking, why don't we do this? Or, you know, other school districts do this. Have you all looked into that? It's the, the conversation has been fantastic. So we've gotten a lot of ideas that we are going to actually look into. Some things will be feasible, other things maybe not as much, but we do want to make sure that we are actively listening and, and always looking for ways to make ourselves better. What we try to do is we try to cover all the bases. The way this happened last night and this morning, it, you've got to be careful about sending out a one call too late at night. You don't want to wake people up, get them alarmed over something that we, we felt like even last night where there was nothing viable. Um, same thing this morning, you know, you don't want to wake people up at 6 a.m. with a one call saying, there's nothing to worry about. We want to make sure everybody is communicated with though. And that's one of the things that we still, we are working to get better on what our communication plan is. When we have to cancel school, everybody needs to know it immediately. We have a pretty good plan in place for that. 
these are the kinds of things we're still working on and developing a, a better plan for. Berea police said the same thing, that they did have an investigator sent out last night to Madison Southern and looked into this potential threat. However, all claims were unsubstantiated and students were safe as there was increased police presence at the high school today. For WBON-TV, I'm Marissa Hempel.